Hey guys, welcome to part two of this tutorial series of uh, creating and animating a character within Blender. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I didn't realize just how simple it is to create characters and animate them in Blender and everything. I mean, this is a very simplistic character model here, but even still, this is actually a really, really easy process. And I think you guys are going to enjoy this. So um, be sure to watch the whole videos. I'm going to give you several tips and tricks on how to do this within Blender, as well as be sure to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification button so you'll be uh, updated whenever the next tutorial drops out in the series. Also, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these so far and uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. Now, while this is just basically showing the process of uh, creating a uh, basic rig for a basic character in Blender, you guys don't necessarily have to have the first part of this tutorial. If you're doing this for maybe another model that you have, it should work. But um, I definitely recommend going through part one of the series just so you have this model to work with because um, this is part of a whole series of uh, tutorials to uh, basically just create a little fun little animation. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is, uh, let's see, just... Uh, look around our, our composition here. Got some lights here. I'm gonna go ahead and disable the lights to where they cannot be selected. Same thing with the camera. All we need to be able to select right now is our little worker from uh, Squid Game. If you guys have seen the series, it's a great series. My wife and I finished it the other day and just absolutely loved it. It's an amazing series. Uh, it's very violent, so I'll warn you about that. If you are not into violent films, you may want to give this one a pass or at least screen it first, especially before watching it with any of your kids. It is definitely not for kids. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so we need to add a rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Y to look down our Y axis and gonna deselect our character. I'm gonna hit Shift A and we're gonna add an armature and we're gonna go down to basic, basic human made a rig. And if I turn on our wireframe, as you can see, we have a little rig right here. We're gonna scale it up. I'm actually gonna scale it to where the uh, pelvic and the leg bones um, line up with the uh, lower body of our character here. I'm going to S to scale, X axis. And then before we go any further, um, let's see, let's go into, let's go the tab to go into edit mode. Um, go up here, click our little arrow and go to tool and be sure to check X axis mirror. So that way, whenever we make adjustments, like if I'm adjusting the knees, it adjusts it on the other side, just like if we were doing a mirror modifier. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to select pretty much everything, the entire upper torso, hit G, move it up, uh, hit Z, make sure we're snapping along the Z axis. So we're staying uh, symmetrical. Going to just select these bones and kind of equal them out a bit. This is the spine right here, as you can see. Um, this is a male character, so we will not need these. These are bones for boobies. Uh, boobies apparently have bones in Blender Worlds, but um, I think that's to help with uh, with jiggle and everything uh, for if you're doing a, um, a female character. But this is a male character, so we'll, we'll, we will not need these. Delete those bones. Um, I'm going to look back down our Y axis. Going to select the elbow and hand and hit G just to kind of adjust these into place. Line up the wrists and the tip of the fingers. Um, as you can see, these are just very basic hands, no fingers, just the thumb, and then looks like, kind of like he's more like he's wearing mittens. Let's see, look back down our Y axis. Going to, this is basically the head bone. It's not a very good bone there. It looks, you know, it doesn't look quite like a skull, but uh, this is just for uh, um, basically just kind of for control purposes. Um, yes, I know skeletons don't actually look like that. Put this the top of the neck, just this, and make sure that the bottom of this, this neck bone right here does not detach from the spine. Bad things happen to good people when that happens. Okay, let's look at our legs, see how our legs are doing. Need to scoot these forward a bit. Make sure the pelvis is moving up with it as well. Grab our toes, Y axis. It's going to bring this up a bit. Looking pretty good. Look down our, whoops, look down our Y axis. Okay. Um, back into object mode. Let's go up to object, click apply, scale. So I kind of just 
resets everything. Well, not resets it, but just basically sets the scale of the bones correctly. As you can see, they're getting a little warped and everything, a little distorted. Um, and uh, actually, one thing I want to do real quick, uh, I'm going to adjust the pelvis a bit more. J, Z axis. Because we should be pivoting right here at the hip. The hip bone should be right about here in our little cartoon worker character. Okay, back in object mode. Let's go ahead just for safety's sake. Apply, scale again. And one thing we want to do with our character model, um, uh, notice that the origin point is right here. We want to be right here at the 3D cursor right between the ankles. So we're going to go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. So it's right here. Okay, we go back to our render preview. And let's see, let's get back to our, our Meta rig right here. Um, one thing, a little tip right here, if we go to viewport display and click in front, that way it's always in front. So I mean, whether we're looking at it from the front, the back, the side, or from the top, you can always see the skeleton, even, even through the floor, you can still see the skeleton of this character. Um, it's uh, very helpful for, um, setting the bones in place and everything. Um, all right, so next up, what we need to do is we need to go down to Rigify Buttons and click Generate Rig. As you can see, let's uh, go ahead and go to our wireframe mode. This creates a little a series of controls that help to control our skeleton or our, our rig or our uh, meter rig, our rig, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's see, go back to render preview. Armature and go to post mode. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna select our original rig and we're gonna hit H to hide it. Now we're gonna select our controllers. If I go to wireframe, you can see them better. And we're gonna go into pose mode. And as you can see, we have all these individual little controllers, like right here, this controls the hand. If I hit G, as you can see, the rig moves, but the body does not move, or our model does not move, because I have not yet paired these. Um, I'm going to hit Escape to reset that back into place. What we need to do now is we need to hit A and select all of these controllers, and we're going to, for the time being, we're going to hide them by pressing H. Okay, so we've hidden that. And what we need to do now is go over here. These are these layers basically show all of our controllers and everything for our, our rig. We're gonna hold shift and click this layer right here. And so this skeleton right here is what is going to be controlled by those controllers. Make sure, let's say, let's go to uh, render preview. Um, make sure again to turn on in front so we can see this thing. So, okay, so with this uh, thing selected, we're in pose mode right now. We need to go back to object mode. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna parent our mesh to our skeleton. We're gonna hold shift, select the skeleton, and we're gonna hit control P. And you've got all these options. Make sure that you select with automatic weights. Now we're gonna deselect everything. We're gonna select our skeleton, hold G. And as you can see, by moving the skeleton around, it moves the model around, or it moves our little worker around. Hit escape, make sure everything's set back in place. All right, now we're gonna go back to pose mode. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna hold shift, click this button again. That turns off the skeleton. And then if we hit Alt H, that brings back our armature controllers. Now, when I select this controller right here for the hand, it controls the hand. Looks like looks like he's a DJ and you know he's you know you know, playing the turntable and he's like, wah, 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 wah. yeah, I'm, I'm lame. I'm from the, I'm from the eighties. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, so I mean, this guy's ready to animate. And, um, I mean, you know, as I said, guys, this is not hard. This is not difficult. I mean, that, this took us what, like what, five minutes or so. Um, and I mean, we're, we're ready to control this guy. I mean, you know, you can control, you know, here's the elbow controller, you know, moves his elbow around or, you know, the, the shoulders, um, and it's it's very simple the way all this stuff works. You know, shoulders controllers here, and I mean the uh, pelvic direction, or I mean you can rotate this so you can kind of rotate the pelvis. You know, he looks like he's boogieing now. Um, or you know, if I select this little ring right here, hit R to rotate. He's shaking his head at me because he thinks I'm a dork, even though I created him. Ungrateful little jerk. 
So yeah, so um, and also one of the cool things is that this little directional arrows or the said directional arrows at the bottom here, um, you know, it's this kind of harkens back to the old school days of stop motion animation. Is that basically we, you know we can keyframe this in addition to these. Well, actually, we keyframe the whole mesh to make it move as we animate it, but we'll cover that as we move into animating this uh, character. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you do, be sure to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because in the next tutorial, we're going to do some uh, character animation. We're gonna make this guy walk and uh, just kind of work on, you know, just the overall basis of uh, making it more, you know, more fluid, more realistic and everything. So otherwise, really appreciate you guys watching the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.